Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Now, make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. So now, to solve this problem, first off, 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared. So now I have 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 8. Now 8, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is 2x which is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x is equal to 3. So now to solve this, I'm going to simply divide both sides by 2. These two cancel out. And I am left with x is equal to 3 over 2. So this is my answer. Now, another way of solving this problem is I have 4 to the power of x equals 8. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of x is equal to b, this means that x is equal to log base a b. So in this case, x is going to equal log base 4 of 8. And now this is the same thing as log 8 over log 4. Now log 8, well 8, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. And 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So I have log 2 to the power of 3 over log 2 to the power of 2. Now I can simply move the exponent to the front for both of these. So now I have x is equal to 3 times log 2 over 2 times log 2. The log 2 simply cancel out. So I'm again left with x equals to 3 over 2. So that's two methods of solving this problem. And now to check... I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. We know that x equals 3 over 2, so I have 4 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 8. Now, 4 to the power of 3 over 2, this is the same thing as the square root of 4 to the power of 3. And 4 to the power of 3, that's equal to 64. So I have the square root of 64 equals 8, and the square root of 64 is 8. So I have 8 is equal to 8, and because this is right, my solution is right. So I have 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 10. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 2 to the power of 3x as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. And I can do this because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So now I have 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 10. So now I'm going to let y equal 2 to the power of x. So now I have y to the power of 3 plus y equals 10. Now if I subtract 10 on both sides, I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to replace y with 5y minus 4y minus 10 is equal to 0. So now it's going to be much easier to factor this out. So now if I factor out y from y to the power of 3 plus 5y, I get y squared plus 5. And then now if I factor out, sorry, now I'm actually going to rewrite the order of this to y to the power of 3 minus 4y plus 5y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out y from y to the power of 3 minus 4y, I get y times y squared minus 4. And then now if I factor out 5 from 5y minus 10, 
I get 5 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now y squared minus 4 is the same thing as y plus 2 times y minus 2. So I have this times 5 minus y, times y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out y minus 2 from this, I get y minus 2 times y times y plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 0. And now I have y minus 2 times y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 2 is equal to 0, and I have y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. So for y minus 2 equals 0, all I have to do is add 2 on both sides. These two cancel out. And now I'm left with y is equal to 2. But I remember how y is equal to 2 to the power of x. And since we know that y equals 2, I have 2 to the power of x equals 2. And the only possible value of x is 1. So this is one solution of x. Now for y squared plus 2y plus 5, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So now in this case, a is 1, b is 2, and c is 5. So I have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4, because 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5, all over 2. And now this is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20. And 4 minus 20, this is equal to the square root of negative 16, and this is actually negative, meaning this would not work out because you can't take the square root of a negative number. So my only solution is x equals 1. All right, so I have x is equal to x over 3. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract x over 3 on both sides. So now these two are going to cancel out. And now I'm going to be left with x minus x over 3 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So now I have 3 times x minus x over 3 is equal to 0 times 3. Well, 0 times any number is simply going to be 0. So 0 times 3, that's 0. So now I have 3 times x minus x over 3 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to go ahead and evaluate 3 times x minus x over 3. So to do this, I'm going to multiply 3 by all the terms in the parentheses. 3 times x, that's 3x. And 3 times negative x over 3, that's simply going to be negative x because these two 3s cancel out. So now I have 3x. minus x is equal to 0. Now, 3x minus x, that's simply equal to 2x. So now I have 2x equals 0. And now this is pretty simple to solve. All I need to do is divide both sides by 2. These two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to 0 divided by 2, which is simply 0. So this is my answer. Now to check, I had x is equal to x over 3. And now my, the value of x is 0. So now I have 0 is equal to 0 over 3. 0 divided by any number is simply 0. So now I have 0 equals 0. And because this is right, I know my solution is right.